Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for another Hey Day video. Now from June the 13th to the 27th of this month, we got a beautiful carnival event which will allow you to get a lot of wonderful decoration. It's a special activity that we've not seen within the game and I'm going to be telling you all about it. Now this is the second video I posted today so make sure you go and check out the first one which is also posted on my channel as well for the truck event. It's the 11th birthday so there's a lot of birthday activities up and coming and I hope you enjoy all of them. But let's get right on into this one. Now this is going to be the player task list that will come up on your screen. You can activate it up in the top right hand corner and then it will drop down giving you a load of tasks that you need to do in addition to a little bit of a road down at the bottom. So let's go through this and say what it means. Well first of all each of the tasks are generated for each player. If you are level 9 onwards then you can get these tasks. Tasks will vary depending on the level and the player. So you've got a variety of tasks down there but the question is how many? Well there are three are 300 tasks in total and you don't have to do all of those tasks to get enough points to get all of the decoration but be careful if you trash too many then you're going to be lacking in the points now as I said there's 300 and tasks are very very fixed okay you get specific tasks each task has a specific amount of points each task will then give you those points if you do it and it will take a certain amount of time but let's explain this in more detail now players only see one set of tasks at the time so there are tasks there but they're actually hidden from view so you can't see everything in one go you can only see what's actually up on the board and you need to pick and choose from those unless you trash them Basically, you choose a single task. Now, there are other tasks there, and it'd be great to activate more than one, but I'm afraid you can't do that. So, stacking is a good idea for this one, just like you would with a normal Derby activity. Now, once you do choose a task, like with a Derby, you have a specific time limit, and you've got to get that task done within that time. If you fail to get it done, it will be failed. So, be very careful, make sure you get everything done. Now you'll notice that each task has a variety of points. They can be low value points, they can be high value points. And those points actually go towards the reward bar at the bottom of the screen, allowing you to progress along the actual road and claim the prizes. Now, once you've collected each of the points from the task, as I said, it's then added to that reward bar at the bottom. There are a lot of rewards down there, and you can pick and choose which rewards you would like as you're progressing. Now, the tasks that you've actually completed, they will remain on the bar until that you've actually collected them. So, you can leave it there, go and do another task, finish that one, leave it there, go and do another task. But the task won't respawn until you collect them. Now, once the task is actually done, you'll see it changes to green and it says you can claim those points. So, click that green button, claim the points, and they are added. And then new tasks will start to appear. If you just leave them there, I'm afraid new ones won't spawn. Notice the color difference as well in relation to the bottom bar. The ones that are green are able to be collected. The ones that are yellow, you can't actually collect those. So you need, uh, you see, I need 10 points to get the first one, but now I've got it. As you start adding more points, and then you see those prizes down there you can claim them at any stage the first one's not claimed the second two are hence the balloon still holding the task up and two down that I've actually claimed now as I said uh, there are tasks there and the tasks actually have a kind of like a countdown so as you trash one you trash one the number goes down 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 you've got a specific number of tasks be careful you don't trash too many now, those tasks that are on the board there will continue until all the tasks have actually gone. So, if you do 300, fantastic, they will be there to the end. If you only do 290, you've got 10 left to go. Now, tasks have specific status. There's completed, so finished, cancelled, you've got rid of it, and failed tasks. If it's cancelled or failed, you need to rip them off, completed, you need to claim the reward. Now, when it comes down to failed tasks, okay, if you fail the task because you didn't actually let the task uh, or get the task done within the time limit, it will tell you that you've actually failed and it will remain there until you dismiss it. So you have to trust that task. Now, in relation to new tasks, okay, you can cancel those tasks and say, I don't want to do it. You can collect them uh, and then start doing it or you can dismiss them and say, like, no, thank you. I don't want it. So basically the same thing. Task can be cancelled at any time. Let's just say you don't want to do the task that's up and coming. You can delete it, get rid of it, and it doesn't make a difference. Again, there is that cool down period until new tasks appear, though. Now, cancelled tasks will be removed. They're not like 
finish tasks that you've failed okay they will stay there until you're actually collected or told them to be dismissed cancelled tasks will disappear and new ones will respawn now as I said there's a cooldown period now the cooldown period like we get in a lot of the games uh, relates to certain tasks like with the actual truck board we have the same kind of thing here but the cooldown period is not very long it's five minutes now if you want to you can speed up that cooldown period which is great and then you'll get a new task now as I said the tasks do give us points points mean prizes so there's a lot of wonderful decoration that came within the game was coming within the game on that bar and each of these task or deco come at specific points now heyday did give us the dairy news and you can see the two or you can see the beautiful layout there as per the screen and your point task down at the bottom and this is what the decoration looks like as it's moving along within the game all decoration is animated it does look very pretty indeed but I'm afraid it doesn't go on the path like that it only actually fixes a specific decoration that you can place within your farm area uh, I do like it. Now, the Carnival Surprise is one of those decos. This is in the dev build at 200 points. This one opens and balloons fly up. I like this one a lot. The next decoration we got down there is the Carnival Puppies. Super cute. In the dev build, this is like at 500 points. Now, I don't know if it's going to be exactly the same in the game, but this gives you a rough idea on when you can claim them. Next one down there is the Carnival Tractor. I like this one. Again, this one's at 1,400 points. You've got a good idea on the kind of points you're going to need here. And it's a lot of points. Next one you need down there is the Carnival Carousel. I like this one. It's 3,600 points. The actual ducks do go around and it is very, very nice indeed. Now, size difference is different between all of the decorations. Some are larger, some are smaller. The Carnival Jester here with the pig head is actually quite large and that's 6,400 points if you want to get that one. Now we've got one more decoration that's actually on that path and that relates to the Carnival Boat. Again, a very, very cool one, 9,300 points in the dev build. Right, now you've seen me go through the actual information. Let's have a look at it in progress. So we're going to jump to the dev build now. That's the decoration. You can see all of the sizes there. And if I actually click on the indic mark up at the right hand side, it brings up the menu. It gives you instructions on how to play. So it tells you all of the information that I've just told you. So if you're not sure, don't worry. The game will guide you through it. But the basic gist of the game is choose a task, do the task, get the points, claim the prize. And it's as simple as that. Now there are other features within there like tr taking the task, trashing the task, cancelling the task, failing the task. But at the end of the day, don't worry about that. Just treat it like a normal derby style or truck style activity. Tasks come up, you do them, you get the points. But like I said, please be careful. There are 300 tasks in total. Uh, you should be able to get enough points from from doing all of those tasks to claim all the decoration on the actual bottom row there for the rewards. There's a lot of nice items down there. Um, some of them relate to boosters or expansion materials. There's the chick vouchers I like down there. There's permits. So this is all from the dev build here, by the way. So will that be the actual one within the game? You'll have to wait and see. But I do like it. I want the deco. Don't really care much about everything else down there. However, the chick vouchers would be nice indeed. But uh, that gives you a good indication on the prizes. Now, coming back to how to play, like I said, just uh, take the task do the task now if you don't have the machine to do it then I would say trash the task in this case uh, you can use Tom for certain activities like requesting goods or maybe uh, getting the material so you can do certain things but at the end of the day you've got to be producing these items um, so if you can't produce them then please be aware that there is um, that inability to get the points for that task so you might want to trash it let's just say you don't have the jam machine down there okay I can't make jams my farm doesn't have it even though I'm of the right level I don't want to wait for the jam machine to start production I don't have enough coins to buy it I'm going to trash the task and then get another task coming up so there are ways around it or if you've got it you can choose the task now, please be aware that some of these do take a long time, so you need to think very carefully about what you're going to do.
Right. I like it, I do. I think this is going to be a wonderful event. Now here you can see as I'm collecting the tasks, the items come up on the side. They also show on the bar that yeah, you've got them there. Uh, if I've got the task actually done uh, and I start on another task, it won't show me that it's done. But just like you do with the Derby or normal threshold, there's a little indication on the side to say that, hey, you've done this and there's something waiting to be collected. And you can click on that icon, go and actually look at it within the game. Uh, and then once you've got enough points, you can start collecting. Oh no, I need 190. I got 200. I need 200 points down there. Eee, one day, four hours to make metal bars. I think I'm going to trash that one. Don't like the sound of that one. Yeah, some of these are very easy indeed. Some of these are very challenging, I think. Very challenging. But we will see. We will see. I think I'm going to be... Uh, removing some of those now like i said make sure you claim those rewards because if you don't claim them then they will sit there and sit there and sit there and you won't get new tasks the bottom row you can leave those you don't have to claim those too later if you do claim them okay the balloons pop and as you can see there the prizes are then awarded Right, now that's basically the event. It's very, very simple. It's not overly challenging at all, unless, of course, you don't have the machines or you don't have the time. Pick and choose tasks that you can do, prepare for them. If you see tasks on the board, preload your machine so it's ready for those and you can collect those very quickly. You have ample time, basically half a month, to get all of this done. Now, there is more coming during the birthday month, so keep your eyes open for it. Now, there is also a second video that I mentioned earlier, which relates to the other event that starts on Tuesday which is the birthday truck event we've got the chance to get balloon decoration cannon decoration and diamonds if you want to get that but it's the deco that's the most important so watch that video right that's it from me if you would like to support me please do so my code is red knight r3dknight type your information into the green box and then you can support me if you make in-game purchases and I would really appreciate that now what's more important for me though is to actually watch my videos you can see the truck one in here uh, and you can also subscribe to my channel that's free of charge my goal 75 at the moment so please do come and be a subscriber it's free to do and i would love you a lot right goodbye everybody and enjoy see ya